So this is the circuit I use to AM modulate the current in my uh, LED. And it's basically a copy of the circuit that VK2ZAY uh, presented in his uh, Advent uh, series of circuits. Um, but I wanted to go through the circuit in detail and explain exactly how it works and go through the calculations for beginners and people who aren't familiar with uh, transistors. So uh, I want, so my design is I want 20 milliamps to go through my LED when there's no input signal. And that's because my blue LED can handle a little more than 20, so I want to, I want to set it to be at 20 uh, when there's no input. So uh, the current that flows through this LED is basically the same as the current that's flowing through this resistor. So if I can set the voltage here, which is VE, to be 2 volts, that will force 20 milliamps to flow through the LED because the current, the collector current and the emitter current are basically the same. So I want this to be 2 volts. So that means I need VB to be about 2.6 volts because, eh, 2.6 or 2.7 because there's about a 7 tenths of a volt drop between the base and the emitter and that's basically one diode drop. So that's my design. My, my design is I want VB to be about 2.7 volts. So uh, based on that, I designed this voltage divider, which takes 9 volts and divides it and puts about 2.7 volts on the base. Now, the, the resistor values that you get when you do that calculation won't be standard resistor values. So these are actually uh, standard values that are the closest to my calculation. So if we go through and do the calculation, what we want to calculate is we want to calculate 1.5 over 3.3 plus 1.5 times 9 volts. And that equals VB. And that equals, well, let's go through the calculation. And we get 2.8 volts, which is pretty close to what we wanted. So that implies that the emitter voltage is 2.1 volts and so 2.1 volts over 100 ohms gives us 21 milliamps so our design is doing what we want and so now any input that comes through this capacitor which only has AC because the DC is blocked that will jiggle the base voltage up and down which will jiggle the emitter voltage up and down proportionally, which will jiggle the current through this resistor, which will force the current through the LED to track it. And so um, if, for example, the input here, which is you know AC, has one volt peak to peak, that will cause the uh, emitter voltage to go up and down by a volt, and that will cause basically a 10 milliamp uh, variation in our LED, volt, uh, LED current because... 1 volt over 100 ohms equals 10 milliamps. So uh, this resistor sets basically the modulation depth for a given input AC voltage, and these two resistors set the uh, current when there's no input. So anyway, um, all you really need to know is that VE equals VB minus 0 0.7. If you know that and you know Ohm's law, E equals IR, you know everything you need to know to design current drivers to drive LEDs. And so, for example, if you had a much higher current LED, you can replace this transistor uh, with a power transistor and do the same calculations, and you will basically be able to uh, drive a high-power LED uh, with an audio uh, AM signal. Okay, that's it for now.